friends. Friends, welcome again to what I assume is gonna be a pretty boring vlog this time, but one that I hope, I hope will have some, some tidbits of information that you might be able to take away from to, uh, to help you with any sort of uh, at-home bicycle frame paint project that you might have going on. I'm not a professional painter. As a matter of fact, I'm not very good at it either. I give, I would give the finish on this thing probably a six and a half out of 10 at best, but I've got all this footage that I shot and I kind of want to put together into this vlog. So that's what's going to happen. I shot video of this and paint of this over the last like four days or so to get it from just a primed Trasher Bash frame to what it is now. So we're gonna go from what this shed looks like right now to what the shed looked like the night when I first started putting base coat on now. Those solids are gonna lower the viscosity of the wall. Friends, friends. Um, last year, last year I painted my friend Tony's bike. It took me seven months, I think, seven months to get to it all because Painting outside in the cold, it's, just, it's not feasible. It really shouldn't be done. The paint that I have apparently can deal with very, very low temperatures, but the base coat version that I have can't. So I am creating a Dexter kill room right now to paint, to paint the Trasher Bash motivator build. By the end of this, this thing will have its base coat. Tomorrow I'll be able to do all the the wacky zany stuff, which is what the, this. The. Okay, well, mistake number one is I didn't give myself a door, but it's not attached to the ground, so it's not. A nice tight seal on the ground. See the old wind space there? A little blade just hanging out here. If nothing in here is getting paint on it, except for this frame. Montana gold spray paint olive green um okay now that you've gotten this far i imagine you're wondering what like what paint did you use this is all going to be in the description but the base coat was montana gold olive green i bought montana black pink pink and the top coat the top coat was montana black black paint they call it black. <laughs> now, the reason that I went with Montana branded paint is because the last time I painted a bike, Tony's bike, I used spray dot bike. Lots of people in the comments were like, just use Montana paint. It's about, it's less than half the price. Uh, try it. So that's why I tried it. So that is the products used for the color, everything else, like the soap and, and all that, that's gonna be listed in the comments below. This is the base color. It'll be the color that predominantly appears on this bike but there will be some, some black over top of it, probably some pink splatter. Uh, this, this was Colin's idea. It matches the tires. I think it's gonna look good. I think it's gonna look good. One thing worth noting, I think, is Montana actually states on this can, not suitable for bikes. Like, you're not supposed to use this for bikes. It's graffiti paint only. So, fire beware. Without a doubt, this GoPro is not doing a good job of showing off the color, but I promise you, it is very olive greeny. There's definitely paint, like, you know, all over my fake walls. Day two on this project now, doing up the pink. The pink I'm gonna take, I'm gonna spray it on this glove and then I'm just gonna flick it onto the frame. The next question that I imagine you'll have if you're thinking about doing the drip paint like I did is how long do you leave the paint on with the soap? Like how long? Uh, and I walked away from it for probably between 10 to 15 minutes. And then I went over with hot water and just poured it on so that the soap would come off. Now, I don't know what kind of results you would have if you're not using this kind of paint or spray dot bike. I've never done it. This was my first time. 
This paint, Montana says, is really good for cold weather and will dry really fast even when it is cold. That was kind of the big reason why I wanted to use it. So, would you get the same result if you went to your hardware store and just bought Tremclyde? I don't know. Try it, let me know in the comments. This is, without a doubt, the most fun that I've ever had painting a bike. Every other time I've painted a bike, I've been like so concerned about what the finished product is gonna be, what uh, like the coverage is like, do I do a good enough job? Is it gonna come out decent? This, you, like when you're doing stuff like this, you have no idea. So all those cares just go away. Whatever you end up with for final product is what you get for final product. So the frame was drip effect fork. I don't know why I decided I would do a different effect. The fork is like the marble galaxy effect that people use a plastic bag. You spray a bunch of paint on your plastic bag and then you just like aggressively dab it over everything that you want to have covered to have that texture. So that's what I did there. Almost forgot about the spin dat deco we put on a long time ago. Now it's time to peel it. Once all the base coats, all the colors, everything was dry after I splattered pink paint on, after I put the drip top coat on it, once that was all dry, I bought a, a proper paint mask and two cans of 2K Clear from Napa Auto Parts. I then came back here in the paint booth and just put an offensive amount of clear coat on both the frame and fork. Once the clear coat was dry and good and strong, I came in wet sanded, rubbing compound, polish and then wax the frame. And that is that, that's where it sits now after all of that procedure. The procedure went 800 grit to just knock down any of the big, big runs. A good run over the entire bike with 1000 grit, same thing with 1500 and then finished it off with a good run over the entire bike with 2000 grit. Then rubbing compound, polishing compound, wax. I put the rubbing compound and the polishing compound on with, uh, with a random orbital sander. I didn't video any of that. I just wanted to get it done. And yeah, there you go. That's how, that's how this got finished. It's actually, it's minus 10 in here. I don't really want to be in here anymore. Okay, that is, uh, that's how that was done. 